Way too special. Yeah. Pure delicious. Pure delicious. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family loves me. And that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pam, man. I appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. Bye. Duck them hooks, man. We out here. 33 years. 33 years of prison stories, man. We out here. Oh, man. Everybody who's been rocking with me, man, I appreciate it, man. We, we're moving up a little bit from the 75K, man. So we on our road. We on the road to 100K once again. And we won't stop. Can't stop, man. So I appreciate the love. And everybody who uh, sent me something doing the... Um, New P.O. Box, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate the love, man. I just wanted to reiterate that. You all know who you are. So in the event that you send anything in the P.O. Box, and um, I'm going to I'm gonna showcase it, man, because I'm that appreciative. If you do not want me to use your name, let me know. If you don't mind me using your name, just let me know. But if I get it and I don't have anything in it or no name or nothing like that or don't say anything about using your name, I would not use your name. But you'll know that I know who you are, and I just want to let you know that I appreciate that uh, wholeheartedly, man. Um, today, man, it's just amazing because <clears throat> I seen something as I was looking, you know, checking social media, and I seen something that really, really caught my attention. And, you know, um, like anybody else, I just have my opinion on it. And um, I've always had an opinion on this subject, so... I wanted to share this with y'all, man, and um, you know, you know, get your feedback or how you feel about it. Because to me, and probably to most people, it was kind of shocking. But to me, it wasn't because of what I've been through and the things I've seen, and you know, the journey that I've had in life. But I want to share this with y'all anyway, man. So I want you to check this out. When you know, the title of this is saying NBA or NFL. NBA or NFL? You tell me what y'all think about this, man. So let's check this out. And he said, Dad, guess which is it? Is it NBA or NFL? 36 have been accused of spousal abuse. Seven have been arrested for fraud. 19 have been accused of writing bad checks. 117 have directly or indirectly uh, been bankrupted, at least two businesses. Three have done time for assault. 71. I repeat, 71 cannot get a credit card due to their bad credit. 14 have been arrested on drug-related charges. 8 have been arrested for shoplifting. 21 currently are defendants in lawsuits. And 84 have been arrested for drunk driving in the last year. Last year. How many of you think NBA? How many of you think NFL? Well, the answer is neither. It's the 435 members of the United States Congress. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Now, let that sink in. Like seasoning. Yeah, all of those charges and all of those things that you just heard, you know, the commentary started out as, you know, the dude brought this information to his father and he was asking his father, you know, um, I'm going to read these statistics out. You tell me who you think it is, the NBA or the NFL. You understand? But come to find out, it's Congress, United States Congress. You understand? The people who make the laws, you know, the people who enforce the laws and make the laws, I have often said many times, you know, to deaf ears is, you know, people who make the laws and enforce the laws are the same people who break the laws. They break the laws, you know what I'm saying? It was like that in prison. You got people that's governing over top of you, and, you know, they're out doing whatever they're doing, and you never know it unless they get caught. And then most of the time, even when they get caught, sometimes, a lot of times, it's swept up under the rug, so you never really hear about it, you know? But at the same time, if you or I did the same thing, we would be crucified, man, punished to the fullest extent of the law, you know? And... The way I look at that is, it's, it's like, you know, 
you know, uh, I don't, I just personally never felt like any way, I don't know, I can't say what a better system is, but I have just always personally felt like, you know, us as human beings, because we are human beings, we are all flawed, all of us. So if we are all flawed, what gives any of us the right to judge other flawed human beings? When we don't even know that the person who's judging or passing judgment, we don't know what their flaws are. What if their flaws are worse than our flaws? You know, what if their flaws are worse than our flaws, but yet they're casting judgment on us? And um, over the years, man, and um, in my lifetime, man, I've heard, you know, on multiple, multiple occasions, you know, people that have sat on benches, people that have been, you know, uh, police, people who have been correctional officers, people who have been in authority positions, you know, it comes out later that they were into this, that they were into that, that they was doing this, that they was doing that. But it, it, there is never any, you know, um, consequences to the people for the people that they have already passed judgment on. You have had judges who have sat on benches and have punished and sentenced dudes to forever and umpteen years for this, that, and the third, and they later come out, have done the same thing and even worse and even for longer and got away with it. And their punishment was never close to the punishment that they have imposed on others. Where is the justice for that? You know what I'm saying? There is no justice for that, man. So um, it, it's, just, it's just amazing to me that, you know what I'm saying, this is how our society is and this is how it's always been. And then for something to be like that for so long and no one ever corrects it. No one ever straightens. No one ever put the focus on that. You know, I posted that on my um, on my Instagram this morning because I seen it and it was just you know it was just something that, that just struck me and moved me. So I posted it on my Instagram doing a reaction to it. And um, as of right now, it's almost three o'clock as I'm filming this. And when I last looked at it, maybe about an hour ago, it had already had over thirty five thousand views. You know, that's just, to me, is, is um, you know, telling about how many people are shocked by that. But people who have been, you know, judged and have been in positions that I've been in is not that shocked by it. Because once you're in, like, in prison, you, you, can, you can see. You can see the corruption. You can see it. You know what I'm saying? Once you've been through somebody's courtroom and you are a minority, you can see the corruption. You can You, you understand it better. A lot of times we hear about things, but we don't never, you know, really stop to think about it and, and you know, what, you know, fully analyze it because it's not affecting us. But when you really look at it, it is affecting us, you know, us as a human race, us as human people. It's affecting us, Is you know what I'm saying? Indirectly or directly, it's affecting us, you know, because... Like I say, I don't I don't know a better system. If I knew a better system, I would I would I would, I would you know uh, suggest it. But to have people passing judgment on other people, and when you when these people get in these positions, they say they vet them or they you know do background searches or this that and the third. But or they look at their life and, and or, or so they say in totality. But how can you ever know anybody's life? Who do you know that you know everything about their life? People have things in their brain, people have their own secrets, people have their own philosophy that they never reveal to other people. People have uh, different agendas. People have agendas just to get in certain positions and then to impose their agenda. You never know. So when you're dealing with people, man, everybody is flawed, but we put people in positions to judge other people, to pass judgment on other people. And to me, that right there alone is part of the problem, man. And um, like I said, if I knew a better way, you know, I would suggest it. But I do know for a fact that that alone, by us being human and us being flawed, you know, the 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 the, the uh, judgment is gonna be flawed. The 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 um. The way people perceive things, because you never know someone's personal philosophy. You only know what they tell you. You only know what they tell you, but they can have a whole different agenda. You don't understand me? And yet they're sitting there passing judgment on other people. And these judgment affects not only the person who they pass the judgment on, but it affects their entire family, their entire generation. You know what I'm saying? So how many times have we all heard that, 
you know, people can have the same crime. This is this is rampant in, in, in the penitentiary. People can have the same crime but be of a different race and have different times. But for the same crime. So that, that alone tells you that the system is flawed. You know what I'm saying? This the system is flawed the way they conducted this flaw. Because like I said, you, you cannot have the same thing and get different results. You know what I'm saying? You can't have the same thing and get different results unless something is broken, unless something is flawed. Period. If you, you know, if if you push this wall with this amount of force and it falls over, then if the next person pushes it with the same amount of force, it should fall over. You know what I'm saying? Same thing should get you the same result, but that don't happen. That don't happen when we come to when it comes down to laws, when it comes down to you know passing judgment on other human beings. You know what I'm saying? Because of the fact that it's other human beings that's doing it. Now, it's, no, it's, it's probably most people would not, not even believe that that could even be possible in Congress. That could even be possible. Look at some of the charges they was writing off. They was talking about domestic violence. They talking about DUIs. They talking about being in debt. They talking about these people can't get credit cards. If you can't get a credit card, how can you sit up here and pass judgment on other people's lives? How can you make laws? You understand me? How could you be in debt? How could you you, you being sued by these other people? You have uh, domestic violence, all of this stuff. If you have a domestic uh, altercation in in the DOC, that you could give you'll get fired for that. You know what I'm saying? They will fire you if you get a domestic if you get a domestic violence charge in the DOC. You cannot work for the DOC. Not in security. Not in security. But yet, here again is the you know the, the the contradiction. Because you can't get a domestic violence on the street and work in DOC, but you can come in DOC and 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 whoop whoever you want to with that uniform on. You can whoop whoever you want to with that uniform on and still get away with it because it's gonna be justifiable. You can come in the DOC and get a gun and shoot somebody, you know what I'm saying, under the under the uh the illusion that you protecting them and you can get away with it. And there's nothing that's going to be done to you. Nothing is going to be done to you just because you have got that job and have got in that position. But what were your what is your life outside of this job? How are you conducting yourself? How are you living your life? How are what are, what are you hiding? That now that you can come into this position just because you got this job and have this much authority over other people's lives. This much effect over other people's lives. You know what I'm saying? So this is this this is how the system is, man. This is some of the things that, you know, that just, you know, used to make me just scratch my head. And, you know, a lot of times we come to the understanding of the belief and we 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 always just settle, man, and just say, Well, that's just the way it is. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's what it is, man. Like we can't do nothing about it. But we can't do nothing about it only because we don't try to do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? We don't try to do nothing about it. We accept things as the way they are in the status quo and we just roll with it and let it be, man. But um, you know, it's just it's just crazy to me when I seen that and I thought about that, it just, you know, just you know, brought a lot of um, you know, thoughts in my head, man, that that, that I was just wanted to express. But um to me, to be in those high power positions and to be looked at in such esteem, in such high regard, and then to have these things, this public knowledge is obviously public knowledge because they know it. But what is the punishment? There is no punishment for that. There is no removal from their position when in in most jobs, if you get any of those type of things, you know, it's grounds for termination. It does not apply to them. You know what I'm saying? It does obviously it does not apply to them. You know what I'm saying? So look at the look at the um you know, the balance of the scales of, of justice. You know what I'm saying? Look at the balance of the scales of justice, man. And um, I just think that's sad, man, to to uh, have people that's making the laws, breaking the laws, and then imposing, you know, punishment on you for doing the very same thing that they are doing in their own personal lives. You know, imposing that punishment on you. You know what I'm saying? With no mercy. You know what I'm saying? No mercy whatsoever, you know. And we'll write these laws and say this is right and this is wrong and this is right and this is wrong. But yet at the same time, everything that they just accuse you of on this video, you knew. You knew and you know that this is right or wrong. You 
create laws and make laws so you know what's right and wrong, but yet you got all of these rampant charges that's still in Congress and all of these people still sitting in their positions. You know what I'm saying? So uh, to me, that's just, uh, that's amazing, man. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. I, I, I did. I wanted to share with y'all. I shared it on Instagram. I don't know how many of y'all follow me on Instagram. And um, I just wanted to make sure that TBP got this information just to know what you think. What is your opinion on it? You know what I'm saying? I know I'm only one person. I know my opinion is just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, I wanted to share with y'all because we family, you know, and I want to be able to speak my mind. I want to be able to uh, express myself and, um, you know, find out what y'all think. But um, to, to, to me, like I say, that's, um, that's, that's a part of the system that needs to be fixed. You know what I'm saying? That's a part of the system that needs to be fixed. It's just like when you have kids, man. There's no, there's no need for you to be preaching to your kid what to do and what not to do if they actually see you doing what you are telling them not to do. It's going to fall on deaf ears. It's going to fall on... you are act, They are actually seeing you telling them what not to do. How can you tell your kids don't do, don't do drugs if they sit and watch you do drugs every day? How? How do you expect them to listen? How do you expect them to comprehend that? You know, and that's what I said in my post on the Instagram. It was like the people that make the laws, they break the laws. You know what I'm saying? And then they enforce the one law of do as I say, not as I do. They enforce that law. And if you break that law, you will be punished to the fullest extent. These are the people that made the laws, wrote the laws, defined the laws, and then probably did all of these things to define them, to give them a name. From the beginning of time, we didn't know what this was. That It was given a name by Webster, Dictionary, whoever named these things. It had to be an act that was already done to, to give it a name. So somebody already did this, and then these are be the same people who make the laws and say, well, this is what we're going to call this, but you better not do it. How dare you? You understand? But we done did it. And we, 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 we know it's wrong, but you better not do it. You know, crazy, 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 man, you know. But anyway, that was my thought process on the situation. I wanted to share it to y'all. I wanted to see what y'all thought about it. I wanted to see what y'all think about these people sitting up in Congress with, you know, this type of baggage. And um, these people governing over your life. So um, talk to me in the comments, man. Y'all know I talk back. I just wanted to drop that on y'all. I appreciate you. I love you. I appreciate you even taking time to listen to me rant because I'm ranting right now. But I wanted to get it out. Be right back at you in 24 hours, man. We back on track, man. Uh, can't stop, won't stop, man. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the support, man. Um, We moving on. We on the road to 100K. Let's get there. We going to get there. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. I'm very curious. I want to know what y'all uh, thought process is. And um, good, bad, or indifferent, just let me know what you think. And um, y'all be safe out there. Be smart, man. Make good decisions, man. Peace and love. I love you, man. <clears throat> boom, 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 boom. Mm, duck them hooks, because you know they're not going to have mercy on you. Bye. Coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.